guys, this is Dave with Audio Win. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different and deviate a little from my normal review format and instead talk about my favorite IEMs under $600. And the reason I feel like this price point is so important is because it wasn't that long ago it seemed like the best price to performance ratio IEMs were landing around $1,000. And then you had IEMs like the Monarch, the original SA6 come on the scene which I and some other reviewers felt the OG SA6 rivaled many IEMs around the $1,000 mark at that time. So the price performance threshold has been steadily declining for the last year or two to the point where now I personally feel like a consumer can spend around five or $600 or less and get an incredible IEM. And I feel like that's happening in pretty much every price bracket. So today I'm gonna to be talking about three different price brackets and we'll be starting at the $600 mark and then 500 and then 300. So hopefully if you're in the market for an IEM and your budget falls within one of those three categories, then hopefully again, this will kind of help steer you in the right direction. So just a couple of things before we get started. I'm only gonna be talking about IEMs I've owned or heard personally. And obviously there are going to be IEMs I haven't heard, unlike my partner Timmy over at Gazadio, who's heard, well, a lot. So if there are IEMs that you've heard and you feel like they deserve a mention, please feel free to list them in the comments because first of all, I love hearing from the community. And again, there might be those who are in the market and might be looking for some additional options. So you'd be potentially helping out a fellow IEM enthusiast. And secondly, of course, these are just my opinions and my tuning preference may not be your tuning preference. Now, just for the record, my tuning preference is neutral and I don't mind. Sometimes I prefer if there's a little added bass or even a little warmth, as long as it maintains a reasonable amount of naturalness and technical performance. Okay, so let's get started. So starting at the $600 price point. So this IEM just recently came on the scene and was the second version of an already popular IEM that had many in the portable audio community a little frustrated, not because there was something wrong with IEM, but because it was so awesome for its price and they were frustrated because they could not get their hands on it. Is this kind of sounding familiar? Well, if you were customer number 301, then you'll definitely know which IEM I'm referring to because they only made 300 of them. And that IEM was the Dunu SA6 Ultra, but that's not my top pick under $600, even though that would probably be my second choice because now we have the six balanced armature SA6 Mark II and there is no limit on production. So now anyone can own one. So if you've followed my reviews of the SA6 family, you'll know that all three of those have been a favorite of mine and they've just progressively gotten better and better with every new release. And of course, if you want the full breakdown, I did do a full review. I'll make sure and leave a link in the description for that. But just to summarize why I feel the SA6 MK2 is the best IEM under $600. And again, I mentioned this at the end of my review of the, of the SA6 MK2, but in my opinion, this approaches or equals IEMs in the $800 to $1,000 price range, either in terms of tuning or technicalities or both in some cases. And three of those IEMs, just off the top of my head, are my Monarch MK2, IE600, and of course my beloved uh, 2020 Andromedas. But the bottom line is, for the price, there's almost nothing that I can fault with the SA6 MK2. From its beautiful design, the cable's excellent, the case is very cool, and its tuning is excellent. And not to mention its technical performance, again, is way, way above its class. So in my opinion, the SA6 MK2 sets the standard at the $579 price. Okay, now moving on to the four to $500 price bracket. Now, this IEM was a little bit of a surprise for me because while I knew this was a reputable company and I was aware they had produced some highly competitive IEMs like the RS-10, which I'm sure you've heard of, the Twilight, the RSV, and the Volume, which the RSV was actually the IEM to beat under $1,000 for quite a while. And the RS-10, Twilight, and RSV were, were priced quite a bit higher than what we're talking about right now. Although I do believe the volume costs around $300, but I guess what I'm trying to get at is this. In the IEM market, we've had 
and still have this sparsely occupied territory of around four to five hundred dollars and there may have been a few releases around that price but for the most part it seems like companies have been kind of avoiding that price territory for one reason or another but that is kind of starting to change and you may already know which i am that i'm talking about because this one has been getting a little bit of buzz around it so my favorite i am between $400 and $500 coming in at a sparsely occupied $450 price is the Soft Ears Studio 4. Now, the Studio 4 is a 4BA driver IM and it's marketed as actually being tuned and created for studio or stage use. And I have tested it on stage and it works incredibly well for that, but it's also awesome just for listening to music at home. And the thing is, the Studio 4, like all of the IEMs that I'm recommending in this video, competes or at least approaches IEMs at a much higher price point, and specifically in terms of its neutral tuning and just its balanced presentation and overall. Again, I feel that it competes with IEMs like the Theideo Oracle, Moondrop Variations, and even some other well-known IEMs that cost much more. And to be more specific, the area of tuning that honestly really just kind of blew my mind was its mid-range. It's simply ridiculous and is as clean as any IEM I've heard under $1,000. But it's not just the mid-range. It's an all-around, very well-tuned IEM, period. Probably one of the easiest top recommendations I've ever made. And again, I will make sure and link my full review in the description if you want my full take on the Studio 4. Okay, and moving on to the last and final category, which is the three to $400 price range. And this is probably the price bracket or area in the IEM market in general that has really piqued my interest the most of these three categories. Because this was the budget range that I lived in for quite a while when I first started getting into this hobby. And I think there are probably a lot of consumers out there right now, and maybe you're one of them, that is just, again, starting in the hobby, or you may have been in the hobby for a while, but you just can't spend five or $600. But you also want something that sounds good and will probably last you for a while, and you wanna get, the again, the best bang for your buck. But going back to my journey, it's crazy to think how far we've come in the last 10 years in terms of just overall innovation and development because when I first started out, 300 or even $500 couldn't really get you much. And I know because again, I lived there for quite a while in that budget range and I went through one pair after another for quite a few years. The Studio 4 would have been an absolute dream come true back then. And I wasn't just using them at home, I was also using them on stage, and I still do. But being a musician, I needed something versatile that would function well both for personal use, so just listening to music at home, and also on stage. So then comes the Blessing 2, and I fell in love with it, although I didn't like the cable much. Then the Blessing 2 Dusk and the variations came along. All of a sudden, there were a few very viable options at the $300 price point. We all know those IEMs drastically kind of changed the IEM landscape and it's still changing. And again, IEMs just keep progressing and getting better and better. So here we are in 2023 and there have been so many IEMs come on the scene since then, but there is one that recently caught my attention and quickly became a favorite of mine and that is the Moondrop Blessing 3. So for $319, you get two dynamic drivers and four balanced armature drivers. And just to give you an idea of where I think the Blessing 3 stands in terms of overall performance, I would say it falls just under this Soft Ear Studio 4. It's that good in my opinion. And now the highlights or aspects of the Blessing 3 that stand out to me for this price range are its improved treble tuning and technical performance. Because the Blessing 3 easily has the cleanest and most detailed treble at this price point. And from a technical standpoint, its soundstage imaging and instrument separation are as good or better than any other IEM at this price point. And then finally, in terms of just overall performance, the Blessing 3 approaches again the level of the Studio 4. Now, the Studio 4 does sound more natural. It has a fuller mid-range. As a matter of fact, the Blessing 3 did come across as a little light in the lower mids, 
But again, that's just a nitpick. And when you look at the Blessing 3's overall performance at this price, again, there's just not much that really comes close to it. And I haven't even mentioned its really beautiful design and excellent build quality. But the combination of the angle cut polished faceplate and the clear body, it's just stunning in my opinion. And of course, they've also improved the cable and case as well. So there we are. We have the Dunu SA6 Mark II taking the top spot as my favorite IM between five and $600. The Softears Studio 4 has found a very cozy little spot in my heart as the best IM between four and $500. And finally, my favorite IM between three and $400, the Moondrop Blessing 3. So I hope this helps some of you that are again in the market and are trying to get the best value for your hard earned money. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch. If you like my content, please take a second and hit that subscribe button. Also, if you would please like this video, please share this video. I hope you have an awesome day.